Hello, hello, and welcome to Not Games Revisited. I'm sorry, that's two weeks in a row that uh, I've had on the schedule Games Revisited and not done it, and for that I deeply, deeply apologize. Uh, some sleep problems have been creeping back into my life, and then daylight shenanigans time kicked in, and, uh, well, that, that really, that, that hasn't helped any of this at all. So, uh... I, w I was thinking about doing Battlefield, because that is a nice easy in, easy out, nothing else to do, but I never did figure out what the lag problems were that we were having with Battlefield last week, so I didn't want to do that and then have it end up being a poor experience because, well, nobody likes lag. You don't like watching me lag out, I don't like actually lagging out, uh, just bad day for everybody. Um, I am, however, in a little bit of a Minecraft mood. Uh, not sure entirely what I'm going to do, other than it's going to be low-key, easy-paced. I'm probably going to take that down since uh, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to use this as a tree farm. Uh, even though that guy over there is not finished, I, I'm probably not going to... No, I'm not, I'm not thinking I'm going to ever use this as a tree farm. Not at this point, anyway. So uh, I'll, I'll at least clean this up, clean up the beach a little bit. Uh, and then, and no, and then, no, and then I might, uh, either work on actually doing something with that cliff, because it was supposed to roll down, like, the rest of those hills, so I, I might try working on that a little bit, or I might head over there, because, uh, one of the other things I've been meaning to do, and, and just keep putting off and putting off, and is to come over here and build some sort of a waterfall. And then re-terrain this little area to make it a, a nice sandy cove. Um, that that might actually be what I end up working on. But first, I need to tear some stuff down over here. Also, uh, I need to tear this down. Uh, I, I let somebody use my my little platforms here for farming the the trees, and they they didn't clear out the last of the treetops. It's okay. I don't think it actually matters if I use a fortune tool or not on uh, on these things. Oh. Look at that. They left some logs, too. Alright, let's see what we can get. Probably didn't know that, uh, that the log had generated because they hadn't cleared out all the all this stuff from above. Uh, that is one of... I, I keep looking at a farm for automatically dealing with these guys. Um, I might, if I, have, if I have the energy, I might even do that over the weekend. Uh, <laughs> now, if I have the energy, I really need to uh, work on some of the guitar stuff. I got a couple of projects in that regard that I need to do. I also have some shopping to do. Um... We'll see if I get into any more of that later. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Let me pack that away so it's not taking up inventory space. I'll have to move these guys somewhere else. And I'm going to have to redo the lighting. I Lighting is definitely one of the things that this place needs more of, too. Uh, you can see I started going with the shroom lights for a lot of a lot of what was going on here, and I mean it kind of kind of works. The the orangish yellow works a lot better than the glowstone because that that just doesn't fit in with the sand as well. Um, here we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. Oh, that's right. I walked over here for a reason, so that way I could feed these guys into the composter. I need a better spot for my little workstation, too. Alright. Let's, uh... Yeah, this... This... This thing. This platform. Is... Based off of a really old-school way of doing tree farms before a lot of the other options became... Became available. And... I guess somewhere along the way between when this was a thing 
and when I built it for season one, uh, something had changed with the sapling drop rate because uh, I was not getting enough saplings to replenish and make this a useful farm, at least in those respects, which is weird, but it is what it is. And, and I did use this to good effect to at least get um, to get more lumber. You know, that part stayed fairly useful through and through. But, uh, not so much, not so much for the saplings. And, you, you know, you can only work at a loss, but for so long. And, uh, and then you're really, really out of luck. So, I guess I'll take this eyesore down. And, uh. I might, I, I don't, hmm. Originally, my plan was to put a lighthouse here. Build a storage system on the ground floor of the lighthouse. And, and then build farms all up the side of the lighthouse. Uh, that, that was my original plan. I don't... I don't know if I'm going to continue with that, partly because I I don't know that I can finish a lighthouse building project uh, in in any kind of, well, I don't know, I might. Because I guess, I guess part of my problem, oh yeah, I need to update my uh, version of Optifine too, thank you for reminding me. Um, I guess I might. I, I can move this apparatus somewhere else, I can move that apparatus somewhere else. Although, all things being equal, uh, I really want to get the automated farms in, so this is not needed anywhere, anywhere on the server. Um, but originally, my issue with the lighthouse full of farms was the uh, the crop farms were going to take up a lot more space than I was willing to commit to. Uh, and then and then I I found the micro farm design that I'm using in the community center and, and I didn't really think about that until just now that that would that would be the perfect solution to my problem because I can fit that. I can fit those and, and all the, the item routing and whatnot that I need to do for them in in the lighthouse much easier and still have room for all the redstone and water paths and whatnot to move, to move items around. So I guess the next thing to do is figure out how big a circle can I fit on here? Uh, obviously, I'll dig up these barrels <laughs> and, and prepare them for a proper storage system. I'll have to dig this up and uh, prepare it for a proper storage system. Same with this stuff over here. Um, but I wonder how big a... I don't know. I might keep the turtle sanctuary there, though. I, I like having I like having the turtles there. Hi, guys. I know. Um I'll have to get you some water to play in too. Maybe I'll maybe I'll section out like a little corner of beach or something and make that the turtle sanctuary. You know, block it off so they can't swim too far away. Ooh, ooh, I wonder. What did I? What did I just hit? I don't know. Uh, I noticed my connection's a little, a little funky too. I wonder if I make this the turtle sanctuary. And then block it off. Block, yeah. Make this the turtle sanctuary. And then block it off so they can't leave? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. In the meantime, let's uh, craft these guys back up. I didn't realize I went through that many slabs. Um, yeah, this whole thing. Uh, 
thought I had another box of uh, stone. You know what? I know, I know. It's a random box. It's a box full of randomness and chaos. Why do I even have these? Alright, uh, you know what? Back into the box you go for now. Alright, um... And I'm gonna need got a box of sand in here somewhere. Okay, never mind. Sand, 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 focus. Oh sand. Okay. So I'm gonna replace all that dirt. But first. Come on, off to the side to go. I still haven't come up with names for these guys. I need some funny, ironic dog names. I, I know uh, Pinky and Ray Aston started coming up with a couple of them. But, uh, kind of embarrassed to admit, I forgot when some of them were and I didn't get the references to a couple others. I, I don't know which is more embarrassing or which makes me feel older. Hi. Come on. Keep going. That's it. That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? I just want to make sure Jubba didn't think I was talking to him. No, he's gone off to find uh, quieter places to lay down. <laughs> or at least to wait until I'm done done live streaming and, uh, and then he can resume his normal place in, in the hopes of getting scratched while I... While I aimlessly peruse the web and prepare for various and sundry other projects. There we go. Who wanted this many dogs? Oh, I did. I, I did this last season too. I got a bunch of dogs with the intent of taking them hunting, but I I, I just couldn't, couldn't stand the thought of bringing them into danger with me. So they, they stayed... They stayed in the house. They they, en they ended up spoiled puppers, kind of kind of like another spoiled pup I know. Hmm. Although he doesn't have an orange collar, he has a blue collar. Might even make the occasional appearance in my uh, Twitter and Instagram feeds. Of course, then again today for uh, Scotch Clock, so did my bottle of Perfect Twelve. Hi guys. Alright. Uh, let's grab a stack of sand. Oh, oh. Really? I had a gravel. Gravel. Did I not have a box of dirt? I thought I had a box of dirt. Need to put a flash. Lumber stuff. Right now the brick stone, stone, stone. Blackstone. I forgot I collected that much obsidian, too. Why did I collect that much obsidian? Never mind. I don't want to know. Sand, sandstone, gravel. Or is it one of these? Uh, dirt. But that's full of dirt. Uh, dirt, magma, soul, soul sand. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are some of the boxes I usually keep in, uh, I usually keep in my, uh, ender chest. Alright, uh, you know what? I know that's grass and not dirt, but I think it's about to, uh, I think that's about to change. <sighs> yeah, I think... Yeah, I'll leave the glowstone in here until I know what I'm doing with the area. I do also know that there is... With those torches there and these these guys here, this is at least an area relatively safe from stuff uh, suddenly appearing. Although, under one of these areas... I forget where. Under one of these areas is... A, uh, a cave system. I, I 
I had trouble sleeping in my very protected hole on my very lit up island because there were monsters nearby. And, uh, yeah, it took a little bit of digging to find out that there, there's some, there's a cave that goes from here to somewhere else. It might even be the system that I was digging out a while back. But I, I couldn't, I couldn't swear to it. I do know what I did forget though. I forgot to, I forgot to make some coffee. I forgot to make some coffee. That might be a problem. This might be a short stream. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, no, I know, don't, I don't technically need to fill in under there, but I do. Uh oh, I hear the jingle 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 of a Jubba collar. Hello, Jubba. Oh, he's now taking up residence again behind me and sighing heavily in an effort to let me know that he's there so I don't back my chair into him. Yeah, that, that's happened a couple of times. Oh. Well, there is more than one stack in there. Huh. Did not expect that. I forgot how much that used. I mean that that is one of those things that that based on based on the yada 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 rates and all that, uh, it was the perfect shape to get the most efficient tree farm going, uh, especially early game. And uh, like I said, sampling rates changed or something, uh, but even even with a fortune axe. That was before uh, hoes were upgraded to be the preferred tool for working on uh, leaves and things. Oh, into the hole. Into the hidey hole. Keep reaching for that coffee that I didn't make. I might have to do a quick uh, intermission here in a minute. Oh. oh. I won't be able to dig up this farm just yet. That's uh, That's my cover. <laughs> Literally, my cover. Hmm. I'm probably about to chew through a lot of that sand, too. Uh, let's put that there. You know what? Go ahead and leave the box of sand over here, because I will end up using it here. Eventually. At some point. That's a promissory note that something will be built there at some point in time. I like these guys in here a lot better, even though the orange doesn't quite match. Sea lanterns. Sea lanterns would be nice, but they don't they don't fit into the sand texture either. I kinda wish there was a way to uh, to hide the lighting better. I know that there's at least more more uh, with glow berries and uh and some of the other new stuff that's coming in, there'll be at least some more ways of providing light, but honestly, uh, it's really hard to do it without the lighting looking ugly. Ugly as all get out. All right, let me tear this side down. why I really shouldn't have gotten rid of that sand, huh? I wasn't done with it yet. I should probably get a couple of shulker boxes. Alright. Let's do that right now, shall we? Uh, I were me. I would have put shulker shells in my wallet of importance. Side. That's the statue book. Those are the 
potions. Oh, no, that's for the other project. Okay. Um, I had a bunch of extra chests somewhere. That's not a bunch, but those are extra chests. All right, that'll work. I'm hoping I can plead for somebody to make some coffee at some point in the very near future. Four. Uh, I'll just keep the shulker box there. All right. Uh, drop that in storage, where I promise I will not forget about it much, often, before too long. Uh, you grab some more sand out of my box. Uh, no, no, no games revisited today. Uh, between the time change, or daylight shenanigans time, and, uh, I woke up three, four times in the middle of the night last night at various points. I, I, I won't be able to give it the focus that it needs. Uh, that's why it's more the, the casual projects. I'm not going to do a technical thing like that. Probably not even going to work. I, I should go work on the design of that thing, but... Line's open. Uh, the price of admission is uh, a fresh pot of coffee. They weren't kidding when they said that was... No, I don't have coffee. They weren't kidding when they advertised that as a clicky keyboard, too. I approve. Like, I hear that joker across the living room. I love it. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, man. I'm tired. I'm dying here. I'm dying here. Uh... I had a box of sandstone somewhere. Oh, there we go. Ask, and the box appears. Why is there sand in my sandstone box? Never mind, I don't want to know. I, I'm not a coffee addict. I can quit any time I want. I do it at least once a day right before bed. Quick coffee. Oh yeah, nobody will notice that's there. Perfect. <laughs> I'll, 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 f I'll fix that before... I'll I'll fix that before the end of the season. How about that? Uh, maybe. Most likely. Probably. Alright, what was I... Oh, yeah. I was gonna fly... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, oh, no. No, no, no. I'm... The tired. The tired. Okay, I can definitely now put the rest of the sand in here. 
and fire off a random firework for no good reason. At least for that, we got a decent farm that'll produce more than enough uh, gunpowder and whatnot. I forget when it was that I did it, but I, I came through and put sand down to about the same level all along the shore. The intent was to make this area into a beachfront resort, but I, I think I need to make a little more beach on this beachfront. And I gotta do something with the animal farms over there. Um, although with as little as they, they've been used, I, I might just... <clears throat> clear out the farm <laughs> and uh and uh yeah just uh go from there clear it out I didn't realize that uh I didn't have that full of red nether wart I thought I did Oh, no, some of that was for uh, the furnace -y stuff. I should probably also top off those buckets of lava, too. Because uh, I filled I filled that up with the intent of uh, making that my... Uh, I need to smelt stuff. Thank you, Arcadius. You're welcome to join if you'd like. Die them so I don't. Yeah. Nah, it'll be fine. One piece of sand. I needed one piece of sand. lighthouse could I put on this little island? That. That is the question. Oh, uh, that's a question worth sleeping on. always terraform this island and change the shape up a little bit, but uh, so far I've met, well, okay, this was not always a little flat sand island. The, the, there was a little bit of a, a hill here and I, I didn't want that. So I leveled it down to here and then transformed the top coat into sand. Um, let's grab where's my wool. That's my carpet. My wall in here. And wall and combat tools. <laughs> keep forgetting that I got that. I keep forgetting that I have a shulker box full of pork chops. Oh, and some golden carrots. So every time I start running kind of low on <laughs> pork chops, I keep going back to the farm. Oh, yeah. There's my wool box. Why is it there? Why, why, why are either of those there? They shouldn't be there. They should be there. For no good reason. Alright. Alright, let's uh, grab some yellow and black. We have a placeholder so I can find it later. So let's call. This is about the. S okay, 
I can go more that way if I move that way. Or that way if I go that way. So let's call this the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I might have to re terraform this corner to make it happen, but I kind of like that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that ten. Uh, you know what? Make the center block a different color. That is the center block, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that is the center block. All right, let's, uh, let's grab an orange for the center. just a little bit bigger so the interior of the circle is nine all right fine I'll find that later maybe maybe when I get the coffee it's just my armrest who needs arms Uh, well, what do I want to make this out of, too? kind of want it to... I like the idea of a white and red lighthouse. Um, with the concentric circles, with it tapering a little bit to the top. Um, but I don't want it to... I don't want to use... I thought about using quartz and red brick. But that looks too new. Not well. Um, looks too nice. I mean, I, I could use some lumber to use some birch and dark oak, and then I can like drop some spruce in there here and there as a uh, you know some uh, spruce and regular oak. For, for to give it a little more of a patchy weathered appearance, but I, I don't, I don't like the idea of making that out of uh, wood. You know, let's uh, let's head over to where the block palette's a little easier to see, shall we? All right, what options do we have? I mean, we we could always use diorite and granite. That that would be a uh, a red and white block that looks a little worn. Maybe maybe throwing the occasional andesite in there for the diorite. And what what else could we do to help retexture that though? Because I definitely don't want to use the smooth variants. That's a uh, little. That's not rough enough? Unless I make the primary the the smooth, the polished, and then uh, use the, the regular for the rough spots here and there. 
that was an option. Um, smooth stone. I, I don't want to do brick. I've done too much brick. Although it would let me add in the mossy, and I'll probably I, I'll probably do brick and mossy for the uh, foundation. Now that I think about it, yeah, I just I don't like building with brick. I don't know why. I don't. I can always do some uh, sandstone and red sandstone. I can play with some of the different uh, stone types for texture too. Like use uh, smooth, smooth sandstone for bits, and then the the sand or the red sandstone for other bits. Kind of, kind of like what I did for the the wall of the church. Makes me reconsider it because. I like that, but I've done it. Although this would be a little different. This would be sandstone and sand. I could do with the granite and diorite again. Or granite and andesite again. I haven't done that since the beginning, and that that is ugly. That is an ugly building. I really meant to hide that better. At some point, I was originally going to try to do a giant iron golem head around the farm. That was long before this was ever going to end up there. I could build a lighthouse out of wool, too. <laughs> that seems wrong, though. Uh, I could play with the quartz again, but I feel like I've done that enough, too. Like I, I've had my fun with quartz in here. And mixing in the smooth and the chiseled and the and all the different vari various varieties. Uh, and we've got a lot of quartz around here. I'm not going to do the quartz. I could do concrete. I haven't, I haven't done much with concrete. But again, the concrete looks a little too not weathered. And I don't want not weathered. I don't want it gray. So I guess we're back to the... Do we have enough granite? Alright, we got enough... Yeah, okay. We might... Uh, we're a little short on granite. But, uh... We might can make that work. And I could do some blackstone stuff, too. Although... That's what I did the uh, the farm out of. Ooh, or I could use endstone bricks. What would work well with endstone bricks? It needs to be a brick texture, though. Um, hmm. Sleepy time. No, I promise. It's sleepy time. Sleepy time. Look, my character's having as much trouble sleeping as I am. Alright, on that, it sounds like the coffee's done, so I am going to hit a quick intermission as soon as I remember where the button went. I'm going to hit a quick intermission. I'll be right back, and we'll get back to the casual crafting.
Okay. Coffee replenished. So I'm trying to find two different colors to mix and match for a lighthouse to build on the island. Um, I want I want kind of a, a light and dark. I don't want it to be a monolith uh, of a single color. I need some striping. I want it to match. I could do it with the... No, the nether bricks really aren't going to... It's not going to fit. I could maybe make the nether brick and the red brick work, but nah, nah. Mm. I kind of wish that there was a, a a granite brick, andesite brick, and uh, diorite brick texture. Like, you could have the rough out of the ground or the polished version, and then a brick version. Oh. Uh, I know, I just asked for <laughs> for yet another block that uh, we don't have room to store because our inventory space was set like 10 versions ago and nobody thought to expand it. <clears throat> I'm not cranky about that. Nope, 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 not me. A day give. I gave a data pack to the world and some people even enjoy it beyond just me. <laughs> I think mom enjoys it too. Like, that counts, right? Alright. Uh, actually, you know, since you brought that up, I'm curious now. I have Minecraft. Custom villager sounds. Just in case. It has been downloaded 266 times. Two of them today. <laughs> oh, how do we do all the witch stuff? All, all gathering all these resources? Oh, uh, well, this <laughs> this is the work of uh, many, many hours. Um, I don't... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Easy there. Uh, I don't... I don't think... Uh, I forgot to put up the sign. I need, I need to make sure I put up a sign. You, for one of the things that we've been trying to do is make sure that we have a sign for all the different things that uh, we got from other people's videos. Um, so I, I really need to get a link up to Nembom's video for the storage system that he's got going here. And a lot of this is, is a little bit of uh, like, I built this loading and unloading system. Um, the, the sorting that goes on behind here is, is one of those bog standard designs that, that you see like every, so many people have videos on it that it's not even funny. No, I don't, I don't know that anybody really knows who, who's first at this point. But uh, I added some labeling and, you know, a little bit of that kind of stuff. But bog standard storage for uh, the bulk items. Did, it, did I put the... This was the work of several live streams in the early days. Um, yeah, that that gets... Uh, it, it was basically... Uh, hey, Reyes, could you craft up 78 observers for me and a couple hundred... Disp no, droppers. And... <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh, remember when I told you I needed 82 of those? I was wrong. I needed 82 per module. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was several live streams right there. And then I added a ginormous overflow section and, uh, and that kind of stuff. Uh, 
I really thought that I'd put a sign down somewhere, but apparently I didn't. I, I need to... That, that might be something that I do over the weekend. And when you're digging out the space for something like this, you tend to get enough stone <laughs> to put together a stone brick floor. Um, and that kind of thing. In order to clear out the area, you tend to get enough trees to do a lot of stuff. Uh, the iron came because that iron farm... That iron farm right there was probably one of the first two or three main structures built when we did the community center. Like, uh, we did the initial live stream on January 1st, and we, we trekked around for a while until we found this area. It seemed pretty good. Uh, I think it was over where the portal stuff is now. We had a little temporary storage sen system sent out. Now we blocked off this area and uh, for for the big storage system and mailbox and uh, I think I think the trading hall went up first and then the iron farm because we needed the we needed the villager breeding area in the back of the trading hall and this the building is something that medic built. But the actual trading hall design, the interior, is off of this video that Cortezarino put out. Uh, and it still works. But you get a, a limited number of stalls, and the way this area is set is these guys will breed up until you get about 11 of them. Uh, you do have to give them food. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, uh, arr. I hate counting villagers. We got what about three ish, six, nine. All right, we can go. We should get another villager out of that. Then you can get those, and somebody else can get those, and we should get one more villager out of that. All right. Hey, there's a the little guy. Uh, but it, it, Cortez Arena goes into all the ins and outs of how that works. Uh, it's part of why I like his videos. Uh, Arcadius is the one that likes the talking dragon heads. These guys are custom Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Uh, that's from one of the data packs we're using. Coffeecraft.us has uh, the links to the data packs we're using to make this happen. Although, Constable John there is not supposed to be in here. I don't know how these guys decided to manifest him in there, but they did. And none of us has the heart to kill him. Because none of us want the uh, ding to... The, oh, oh, it's dark. Um, none of us want the ding to the, the trading prices that you get from doing that. But uh, I think I think having this trading hall as early as we did really, really helped with uh, the ease at which the season started. Because it's a lot easier when you just go buy some diamond tools. Uh, these guys, I think Medic put... Yeah, uh, you just put by Il Mango. Uh, but if you if, if you search for Il Mango's videos, you, you, can, you can find the farms pretty easy. Um, we got the, I, I had an early, early design that was... Uh, I mean... It was an early design. Let's just go with that. They, they get torn down and replaced by something far, far more efficient. But, uh... Once you get a couple of stonemasons in that trading hall, they'll trade for quartz. So you just need something like a, a good melon pumpkin farm to get emeralds, and then a couple of stonemasons to trade for the quartz. And that's how you get enough quartz to build... An entire building out of it. 
Uh, the terracotta comes from going, Arcadius, do you go to the Mesa? Something along those lines. <laughs> oh, and, and yeah, so that a big part of it is setting up some of the early, early games, setting up some of these things like an iron farm that, that is normally a mid game type deal a little bit earlier that helped us. And a lot of digging, uh, there's a lot of digging, like a fair chunk of that stone and cobblestone came from this tunnel that Arcadius dug out over to the witch farm that we haven't used as much, uh, at this point in the season. Uh, but you know, we used to go by mule to, to ride down there. It's one of those things you could set a heavy object on your W key and, and go pour yourself a cup of coffee and then come back and you'd be at the curve in the bend. Um, and, and just kind of goes from there. I'm trying to remember how we ended up with so much sandstone. I think I went out to where Arcadius was farming sand and then started farming the sandstone from under the sand. And uh, don't forget, this has been running for a little over a year now. So, you know, that that is something to keep in mind, too. Oh, the witch farm? Okay. We can do that. Let me, uh, let me take the short way. Now, fair warning, the witch farm was built very early game when resources were... Uh, sparse. Alright. That's to the pork farm, that's to the end, to the terracotta, to the witch farm. Oh! <laughs> that must have been the thing that, uh, Arcadius was talking about. Uh, off camera. That that goes to the uh, mushroom biome where Arcadius and uh, and Medic were building early early game. They didn't like the hike. At some point, the world will load. There we go. So you'll notice that uh, it's in the middle in the middle of the water, which helps cut down on uh, things other than witches spawning. And inside that block is where a witch's hut normally would be. Uh, you do have to mark off where the center of the hut. No, it's not Tuesday rest. I, I just uh, tired. The tired is real. Between not sleeping well, daylight shenanigans time, and uh, and waking up four-ish times in the middle of the night, I, uh, I I wasn't up to games revisited. Not today. You're welcome to join when you get home, though. Uh, so, witch farms will produce a fair variety of stuff. The strings, because it's hard to do this farm without also getting spiders. And uh, I think that was... Yeah, trash. I got that set up, too. But, uh... Let me let me do the admin thing. And pop myself into spectator mode. And basically, because this area is a witch's hut, or it was a witch's hut, uh, this is an area that witches will spawn. Uh, there are some things you can do when you get a few more resources than we had at this particular juncture in the game to make sure that it's just witches that spawn. Um, but realistically, you're only going to get about three or four platforms, and then uh, I, I came in and put together the uh, the redstone for this, so we got a little etho hopper clock going here, and just periodically it'll pulse over and dispense the water about witch farms is 
you have to stay within the bounding box of the witch hut. Yeah. So when you find a witch's hut in the world, you can build a witch farm. Um, which also means you're only getting three platforms max. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not the not the most efficient way to do it without actually, you know, basically taking out everything around it for what is it, 120 blocks in all directions? Um, in a sphere? 128. 128 block sphere. So without doing that, you're you're yeah. not gonna get the numbers. And as this was a I think I built this within the first three days of us having the season one started. Yeah. So, so it, uh, in order to cut down on the amount of digging, there is an AFK platform up here because um, the way Minecraft works, uh, creepers, zombies, witches, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the hostile mobs will only spawn in a sphere between 32 and 128 blocks away from the player. So they won't spawn like right up on you th within less than 32 blocks. And they won't spawn more than 128 blocks away. So if, if you look um, at the bottom where you see XYZ and you see that I'm 137 blocks up, that means that the bottom of the spawning sphere is just below where the witch farm is. So all the caves and stuff underneath that we didn't get a chance to light up won't populate with stuff anyway. So as uh, this works better when you're the only person on because uh, something something mob cap something something that I, I only have a fuzzy fuzzy understanding of at this particular juncture. Uh, there there is a mob cap a num a maximum number of hostile mobs that will spawn per layer and it's not just around the particular player it is per player so if arcadius and i are both logged in the mob cap is set at the number for two players but if i am in an area if i'm like caving underground and there's tons and tons of mobs there won't be enough room in the cap for this farm to work um you may have noticed that we ran into that problem last Tuesday. I went to go to the gold farm in the nether and... Uh, Show them the only piece of decoration I could afford to put on this thing at the beginning of the season. Which decoration? <laughs> oh, and, and the, this uh, was where Arcadius lived for a little while. There's this little cheaty AFK fishing hut. That also doesn't what? work. Get out of here. Um, it's also full Ooh. of it's also full of bows and fishing rods. You need yeah, I know. I quit. Okay. <laughs> Cold turkey. Did I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. But now, like the only thing I could afford to do at the beginning of the season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couple of cod heads and. No, no. Look at the side of the oh, building over yeah, here. Yeah, the uh, vault tech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the only thing I could afford to do. <laughs> yeah, because you'll notice it's a mix of cobblestone and stone and some other stuff. Because, again, this was very early game. Right. But we get a lot of stone from that tunnel. Not knowing Arcadius, I'm kind of wondering if there's a chest full of resources sitting around here. There is. There is. Do, do I really want to know no what's lie. in here? Do. Uh, cobblestone, stone... So we got cobblestone, yeah. stone, dirt. I was complaining about not having enough granite. <laughs> Make all that happen. Seriously, why are there two you, random... You can take whatever you need. I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and that's how you get lots and lots of resources. Yeah. <laughs> Branch mining is absolutely a thing. Although, for truly efficient branch mining, you you, you want to leave just two blocks in between each branch in the mine. Uh, it allows you to cover a little more ground per per mine shaft. Uh, you know what? I get enough rockets just for kicks. This is the trek that we had to take each time we wanted to go to and from the witch farm. Oops. Without a... Uh, Dying on one of the uh, ledges there. 
This, ooh, that was almost bad. This is uh, where I run out of rockets. Uh, oh, good. It's right at the corner anyway. What are the odds I can do this without dying? Ow! What did I run into? I didn't even run into anything. Come on. Yep. Just remember, we didn't have Elytra either. <laughs> we were literally hoofing it on a horse. All the way down there. Hang on. We're not, we're not at the end of this tunnel either. I want to say it's like 8,000 blocks out or something like that. Uh, it's a lot. And I dug that tunnel by hand. Yeah. Ar Arcadius <laughs> like very no painstakingly. Uh, 12%? That's 12%. I feel like I'm missing the uh, context of something. Trying to say she did 12% of that tunnel? I don't know. <laughs> Hang on. We're, we're still going. we still got more tunnel. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I, uh... Well, shoot. We blocked off part of the tunnel for some reason. Oh, that's why. I was going to say for some reason, but, uh... Let's, uh... That there. Why is there why is there a Oh, that's why it was blocked off on a bubble vader. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, we're we're still not back at uh that that tunnel. Oh, the odds I can do that without dying. Thank you. I, I appreciate that uh gracious. <laughs> yeah, uh so the tunnel goes up there and, and I'll get to why that's the I forgot about that. Um let me take a quick nap. We needed a couple of villagers for the raid farm. And so Reyes and Arcadius brought them down the tunnel. So that tunnel that we exited all the way over there, uh, yep, right there off in the distance, continues down under where I am here. Oh, that's why I got to do some lighting there. Uh, it continues down, except it, I think it's over here a little bit. Yep. And then comes out right here. That's the tunnel. That's the tunnel. So we would go from here all the way down, all the way around. And, uh, yeah, it was a trek. It was a trek and a half. The rest I'll just toss in there for later. Okay. And there's a couple other witch farm designs out there. Just depends on how much how much you have in terms of materials and how early game it is. Um you you'll hear Il Mango and Numbomb come up a lot if you're looking for ridiculously efficient farms that are kind of intricate and more than a little delicate, but they work very nicely. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Good night. Boy dreams. Yeah. Um, it's going to be 24 hours before the replay can go back up because Twitch has a 24 hour exclusive hold on everything that I stream. So, uh, about 6.30 tomorrow night, the replay will be up on the YouTube channel. I mean, I could or post it sooner, just but be I don't. on Twitch, I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The replay will be available on Twitch, too. I was gonna say, it'll just be on Twitch. I mean. Yeah. I, I keep forgetting about that. Um, well, for us that don't bother with YouTube, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what we bank on. It's funny how I get more views on my videos than I do my live stream. 
I think it's because I pick a bad time of day. I don't know. Um, uh, time of day does make a big difference. Oh, why did I end up throwing a rocket? All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we we might have to we might have to schedule a day that we could try to do something where we do a, an explainathon on uh, with him. This is we. <laughs> you can explain stuff too. You know things. <laughs> you put the tree here. You bone meal it. That's it. <laughs> and you chop. I, it I mean, down. I, I'm not going to ask you to teach any redstone stuff, especially not clocks, because you know. Oh, I can teach a clock. No, that's easy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's the a, first clock. That's the first clock I taught Jude too. <laughs> that's a nope. That's a negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> I, I get no respect for my clocks. I tell you what, because uh, that's not a clock. <laughs> I, I could probably figure out how to compact this down a lot further now too. I might need to do that. I think we're supposed to move the move this farm somewhere else anyway. Maybe move it up into this area? I don't know. All right. That's that's an, uh, another project for another day. Let me get back to... Lighthouse material. Well, if you want to contemplate the issue with uh, Constable John being summoned, maybe you can answer this one. Okay. I'm on a mushroom biome mm -hmm. with a village somewhat in the middle of this upper quadrant. And... Uh, they have summoned two iron golems that are just walking around. Um, whatever. Con well, if the second one moved out of a certain block radius, I forget how big that is right off the cuff. Well, what bad guy did they see? <laughs> uh, if you were AFK with Sky Axis, it could be phantoms. Okay, but they're locked in a building. All right, which one of these is yours? The one with the dirt or the one with the... Uh... Quartz. The one with the quartz. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Because my home out here is this uh, this quartz temple that uh. doesn't have a floor yet. Still? <laughs> uh, I ripped it up. It had okay. an oak floor, oh, but I ripped oh, the oak oh, floor oh, up oh, and I was oh, going to make some portal's decorative. just like there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't fixed that yet. Don't oh. worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully you can land pretty well. I don't know. But yeah. See, they're in that hole. Oh. There is no door. There is no way for them to see anything. Uh, even... Unless they were taking damage from cramming. And because they were taking damage, it spawned them in. I... All, right. okay. all, all I can I'll say is whatever, <laughs> whatever caused the first guy to spawn... Uh, if he wandered out and it happened out of a certain block radius from them and it happened again, that's why you get the second one. I'm about to call one sheriff and one deputy and just be done with it because I have no idea how they got here. You don't want to go in there. Don't go in there. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering why the server's been having lag issues. <laughs> I told you not to go in here. <laughs> Bob your head at me. Do something. I don't have jobs yet. I, I think there's only like three that have jobs. Back wall. Yep. Yeah, we got a farmer. I don't have a no workstations yet. But... <laughs> I forget what I was doing when I was here and I built this. <laughs> I think I was making some sort of like Trading hall, yeah. storage system, I don't know. I know what they were for. They were here because they needed their heads for the soccer team. Yeah. Uh, Still working on that. Oh, have you ever seen the uh, the center field marker? Oh, yeah. H have, you, have you seen this thing away from the lag producing... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Come, come here, away from the lagalicious herd of cattle. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 minor compared to all the maps I have laying around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it that way. 
There's the zoom. I know. That's great. <laughs> that is great. Sitting right over here. Is, is that a legit ice biome right next to the mushroom? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just beyond that is also ice spikes and a village. That's where I got my two villagers huh. from. Okay. I, for some reason, I thought you had actually hoofed them all the way over here from uh, from the trading hall. Uh, yeah, no, nah. no, nah, that, nah? that's, that's a negative ghost rider. That's no, <laughs> I don't, I don't like moving villagers any further. Than I don't I like have moving to. villagers either. <laughs> I mean, let's be, let's be honest here. I don't, uh, no. Yeah. I just don't know what to do here. I don't know if I should leave it, just make it green, uh, penalty markers in the, in the goalie box, or if I should, uh. Maybe make it red after the mushroom, or I don't know. Um, if you do make it green, you should definitely have little patches of brown, like it's where the grass, like like especially around the keeper's net. You, oh yeah, you, where he's you, you should diving. have like uh, <laughs> some lighter green and brown where it's been worn down and faded a little bit, or maybe that was just like the it. practice field I worked on. <laughs> that that might have been the practice field for you know the team. Maybe. Where, you know, it was go football. Oh, and we have other sports too. Oh, geez. <laughs> so that's that. And then the upside down pyramid. Originally, the thought process here was to make a bunch of farms up here mm -hmm. and have them spit out the resources into there. Yeah. So this entire thing in here is filled with water and it all funnels down. So it would drop into like a collection system right here. Yeah, don't don't fall. <laughs> There's a reason why this poor guy is on a perpetual uh Because he got hit. He just sits there. Because he's gonna go into one of those storage containers when I make another one, apparently. He was like that when I got back here. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I just I just got back out here to try and finish this place up like a couple of days ago. Uh, I haven't really even started anything yet other than to rip up the floor. Is this? <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> what the welcome to the Shroomtopia? Yeah. <laughs> he's he's the butler. He's he's the Batman. Now where's your um, where's your furnace ray? Because that that was right, very over well there, done. huh? That you're you're staring at the lava the lava matico thousand. Look, blah, look, blah, blah, blah. I, all I see are a bunch of Star Wars esque huts around here and there. Yeah, well, you know, it's the geometric island. What I did, <laughs> it's what I'll continue to do. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about putting uh, ripping up the dome that is serving as the entrance for the nether and turning it into a cylinder so it encapsulates both of those uh portals yeah yep so basically you just fill this thing with uh, lava buckets and then you put the stuff you want to cook into there and then it spits it all up over here and you can watch it go into the hoppers there and into the front into the box here you, got a, that says you still got a fair stockpile of lava buckets yeah, yeah. And that's after I emptied a ton of it because Rast wanted it for something. I don't remember what. <laughs> I used to have this box up here. Uh, place for fuel. All these buckets that are in this uh, yep. box here yep. were full. <laughs> nice. I keep trying yeah. to close the door. Uh, I, I, I'm in a mild panic like, oh no, it's nighttime. Oh, we're on a shroom island. What, what's good? Nothing, nothing's yeah, no, gonna... You're, you're fine here. As long as you've slept at least a little... Yeah, no, no, no. I, a while ago, you're fine. I, I <laughs> Kind of why I like here. it out here. Yeah. Uh, those guys. I'll take, I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't want I don't want to do it on camera while you're looking. I mean, you know. Well, who's looking? At what? I know nothing? Nope. Exactly. Ow! <laughs> Almost, you know. Kids can be impressionable. I don't want. I don't want to do anything while you're. You got the camera looking. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I thought that would work. That that really seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, I hope you didn't hurt yourself because I think you end up wherever the pearl goes when you go through. <laughs> uh, no, apparently not. No, okay. Or because it was on the frame anyway. So who's the other? Is the other portal uh, Medic's old base? Think so. Where's this go? I don't know. Oh, we'll that's a, a dangerous phrase. Where does this go? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, this okay. is medical base. I have Kate over here for like three days straight getting uh, slime. <laughs> yes, he's got an amazing slime farm. I didn't realize he had that uh, wheat farm going too. There's glass. <laughs> yeah. Medic does some amazing work on this kind of stuff. Ow. I like the uh, honor gate, honor guard entrance over here. The actual main entrance. Where are you at? Trying to figure out what redstone's getting that working. Okay. Which main entrance? Oh, you're you're down there. Okay, I see where yeah. you're at. Nope. So I thought there was a uh, a flight. Yeah. Follow me. Out to the cove. Follow me. Where? Yeah. <laughs> there. Come out to the cove. Yeah, there. Mm hmm. Which cove? This whole thing down. is a bunch of coves. <laughs> That's all this is. There you are. I see you now. Here we go. Come out. Climb a little. And right there. There. We, we, we got to talk about these uh, directions, good sir. <laughs> Come flying through here. You got this like honor guard sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this takes you up to what was going to be, or may still be, I don't know. Uh, I think this is like his main house area. Yeah, this was the village proper. Mm -hmm. I, I almost want to, I mean, I don't want to because I don't want to do that much work. But uh, I almost want to come in and just secretly populate this with a bunch of villagers. <laughs> and just have a whole bunch of villagers around here. Uh, he's already got villagers here, by the way. Oh, he does? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're hiding over here. I know he's got the... No, th that's the... That's the spawner farm. Where is... Back in here? But over here in the rat den, maybe? Oh, no. Because this, is where, this is where he started doing a lot of the armor sand stuff, which is awesome, too. Oh, yeah. His bar scene is amazing. Yeah. Uh, little tavern. Okay. His aquariums don't work right, either. Because the fish are jerks and don't move around. <laughs> but the upside-down glasses. I yeah. Mean, that's awesome. He does have a couple of music discs. <laughs> there's a jubba on the door. Of course there's a jubba on the door. How can you not have a jubba on the door? <laughs> no, I already went in there. Or where he put all his villagers? I hope they didn't die. That would stink. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it'd be that hard to get some more out here. Uh, you take say that. Uh, he could take them from the Mooshroom Island and get them here fairly quickly. Oh, that's right. That's the spawner farm. What kind of what kind of spawner is that? I think it's just a. Uh, it's got to be a zombie farm. Given yeah, that I think carrot potato and all that. Yeah, that's a zombie farm. Hi guys. 
I like that he added the on-off switch, too. That is nice. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess the only, the only, like, the, the engineer in me goes, but that's one, two, three, four. That, that, that's a bunch of spaces that aren't, aren't spawnable. Even when the light is off and the farm is technically on. Because of the way, the way spawners work. You killing me, Smalls. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I mean, I think of these things. Uh, still killing me. <laughs> I wonder if this is where the villagers were. Because this looks about right with the beds and the... Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I don't know if he uh, retired them when he mm. came back to the main or... Uh, that's always a possibility, too. Well, who knows? We'll, we'll wander into a random, uh, a random hallway and find uh, find the villagers. <laughs> or they might be up on the storage hall. I mean, you never know. Yeah, they could have. They, they, they could have. They could have wandered off into any. Yeah, his his melon and pumpkin farm are still going, and were going while I was there. So it's oh, it's pretty oh uh, robust. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this little furnace array and workroom. Don't want to get a proper. Uh... Yeah, too bad the Zeratic cactus farms don't work anymore. Too. Well, I say too bad. I I never, I never used them. I couldn't bring myself to. Resources. I mean. It's... <laughs> Not, well, not this go round. I, I really wanted to give it a go as uh, with with none of the none of the cheaty tricks kind of things. Understood. I think I think next season I'll, I'll try to find a compromise between the two. Like I'm not gonna go all out on them, but I might use uh, TNT du duplicators for some of the stuff. And wow, he's got a. Fair chunk of stuff over here too. Mm-hmm. What else we oh yeah. Well, I mean, we're not exactly short on dirt. Alright. Let me uh what is out. I need signposts. <laughs> And now that I know that there are designs for bubble vaders that uh, that you can actually stop at each individual spot, that that changes a few things too. That makes for some really nice options. Oh, yeah, that's sounds right. like some really bad uh, redstone. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, you're doing redstone right next to water. That sounds like bad redstone to me. Nah, <laughs> it's fine. Uh huh. It's fine. Face of belief, right here. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's like the problem with mushrooms and the slabs too is they're not directional. <laughs> they don't tell you which way goes back to which. my uh, light you're doing yeah. that is a problem easily solved I still love this thing the, the, <laughs> this is this is probably one of the most satisfying farms to watch and it's and, not honestly all that hard to make either. Uh, it's not hard. Th it's not hard to make in terms of effort. It is hard to make in terms of resources. And, and so when uh, when when Steve and Jude watch this later, uh, only the zombie pigmen can spawn on magma cubes. 
So by having this platform up here at build height, like these slabs are literally at the highest level you can build anything in the current version. That's going to change in the next one. Um, hordes of the, the zombie pigmen will spawn in up to the mob cap. And there's a little turtle egg over that iron golem. The zombie pigmen try to attack turtle eggs. They, they, like, they will hunt down a turtle egg within a certain radius. Since there's always somebody close enough to this iron golem to make a go for it, uh, iron golems don't like those guys and will attack them. So he attacks them. The rest of them get all mad at the iron golem and come in and fall down one of the two shafts. And uh, they fall down here. To their uh, And since they were angry and attacking something when they die, it means that uh, it means that they produce XP. Like if they were to just die from fall damage under normal circumstances, they uh, they wouldn't be producing XP. But because they are angry at something and attacking something, they produce gobs of XP. I mean, look. Look at my level bar. Just... I, I just came in here to mend all my mending stuff, and I am perfectly topped off, and... <laughs> and there's still gobs of XP. And more falling. Like... Alright. Oh. Are you getting ready to get some of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting on with this. Good, good. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so I took that farm and set it up so that way the uh, uh, the the only the only thing about it is because you are not killing them with a looting sword, you don't have the option to get gold ingots. You're only going to get zombie flesh, gold nuggets, and golden swords. Um. For shame, you'll, you'll have to make do with the five thousand nuggets you get. <laughs> eh, it's not quite that many, but I mean, it, it's a it's a fair bit. Four lines right now. So, oh well, that's not from this go round. Uh, this this has been from every time somebody's come by for an incidental, you know, XP pick me up. <laughs> uh, so I get a sorting system similar to the bulk storage system that uh, saves at least two stacks of uh, six double chests of gold nuggets of uh, zombie flesh and then everything else just gets sent to burn in a fire and that's doubled one on each side so that way later we can craft the nuggets up into ingots and trade them with these guys who will pick up an ingot and uh, and then give you one or more random items of a set list like they got a pretty high chance of giving you blackstone since they give a lot of that and we want a lot of that i set up two columns of storage for that i set up two columns of obsidian even though they don't give you a lot of that we want a lot of that so i wanted to make sure we had room for it in storage uh same with the crying obsidian i i forgot how much soul sand they give you <laughs> <laughs> Give a lot we, of gravel too. We, we don't awesome. need that much soul sand, so I only put in one column of storage for the soul sand. Uh, gravel we need a lot of, and they give a lot of, so we've, we've got a fair amount of that. So the next time somebody wants to go on a crafting spree, a concrete ca hey, a concrete crafting spree. What are you doing? That was a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, burning the admin is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Did you throw the fire charge or something? Well, yeah. I picked it up and when I turned towards you, it was... Anyway. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> that, was, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. I, I've dipped into the nether brick a lot already, so don't, don't be deceived by that small amount. 
Uh, they don't give as much as they do some of the other stuff, but uh, because we go through a lot of nether brick anyway, I, I set up two columns for that. These guys also give quartz. They don't give quartz ore. Somebody put that in there. No, that was me. Okay. I forgot they gave quartz ore because I came over here for some uh, crying obsidian. I came for crying obsidian. Mm -hmm. I saw that they gave quartz and I was like, I don't want to have to mine this down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so I, I'll just take the quartz ore and someone else can get the XP. You know, I'm just being a nice guy. And oh, honestly, yeah, yeah, that yeah, ore nice is guy. probably worth more than the stacks. A, I took. a nice guy that's too lazy to take that all the way back to store <laughs> community storage. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, uh, you know, they get the fire charges. They don't give that many, but I, for some reason I thought we needed two, two columns of that. I don't remember why. Um, you forgot I would steal them for top off fire, the ender pearls. Uh, this is why <laughs> this is why I've switched to using nothing but spectral arrows, because um, they give you a lot of those. We got iron. I always craft those down into anvils that we use a lot of. Uh, they give a fair amount of string and leather. And then this is for everything that can't get sorted, like either because it's overflowing from there or because uh, you can't sort out splash potions and regular potions and books and uh, iron shoes. There's no way to do Well, not no way to do a filtration system for those. Just the way to do a filtration system for those is ridiculous. And... Uh, I, I would have needed to build this about 10 more blocks up to make that happen. And, and it was more complicated than I really wanted to get into. So just four columns of overflow. I, I like that idea way better than going through the ridiculous redstone. Because the way it works, you, you run the item by a brewing stand. And if it falls in, that means it's a potion or a splash potion. And then you got... So you get the redstone to lock the hopper under the brewing stand for when the item goes by. If it falls into the brewing stand, then you get a comparator signal off of that, which unlocks the hopper underneath the brewing stand, causing the potion to fall through into the potion sorting area. If you want to see if it's a set of iron shoes or not, you dispense the item onto an armor stand and if the observer sees the armor stand change, then a spectral arrow gets shot at the armor stand to break it, and the shoes get put in. If the item goes through the armor stand, then it's not a pair of shoes. And, yeah, it, it's like eight kinds of ridiculous. I, I, I like four columns of overflow. And I've been kind of stocking up on all the potions that they've been giving. These guys give a lot of potions. Uh, a lot more than we've been going through. But we, we kind of needed this earlier than we built it. Because we need we needed these potions when we were doing our uh, hunt for uh, netherite. But by the time we got this set up, we had already gotten all the netherite we were going to get. I set up two little potion brewing stands. I can't remember where I found this original design or I would have put up the sign for the credit. Um, I think it was Impulse. Impulse SV. But I'm not 100% sure. But this is pre-set up to make uh, potions of regeneration. I do need more gas tiers. I, I was planning on building a gas farm out here, but I just never quite got to that one. And for potions of instant health, so basically you push the button and it brews out three potions and stores them in the barrel down here. And then a stand over here for finishing. So if we wanted to make them splash potions or uh, extend the duration, that kind of thing. I almost want to take this llama and go walk him somewhere else. I'm not going to do that, though. Oh, and I forgot those guys, uh, they do end up showing up uh, when you least expect it. All right, back to 
Back to community storage. Because we're at the original question that I came here for, and that's, what do I make this lighthouse out of? I want two alternating colors. Um, I want it to look a little worn. I don't want it, like, I don't want to build it out of concrete. Because the, the concrete's just going to be too new. Uh, I mean, unless I throw in some dashes of terracotta in there. But the white terracotta doesn't look white at all. It looks peach. Although, I guess I could use the, the diorite and white concrete. And granite and red concrete. The granite for the more speckled, worn appearance. Hmm. That's that's got some possibilities then. That's got some possibilities then. Oh, that was the other thing. Uh, cuz I was thinking about putting the some of these storage modules in there, but I don't think I'm going to do that in a 9 by 9. Light, no, there's no way that's going to fit in a 9x9, nine nine, or a, a radius of 9 lighthouse. No, that's not going to fit in there at all. Alright, so storage will have to be somewhere else. That's okay. Unless I just build the farms and I have only farm storage. So we can have uh, all four crop farms in here. And then a melon farm and a pumpkin farm. Sugar cane farm. Depending on how tall I make this. Those are all options. Although, I don't think the end brick's going to look right on the sand anyway. Unless I do the stone brick for the base. Uh, stone, do I have stone brick? I thought I had some stone brick around here somewhere. Look, I have some stone brick. need to find something else with the brick texture then. Unless I do black and yellow. I can do black and yellow. Do uh, uh where's my blackstone box? Wait, why do I have what? Never mind. I, I don't I know that there's some cracked versions of the Blackstone 2. But, uh, do that for the base. Or would I be better off doing, uh, Blackstone for the base? I guess I shouldn't have put that, uh, shouldn't have put that away. Blackstone for the base, and then do maybe uh, stone and end stone. So do that for the base. Obviously, not one black eye. I'm just trying to get a sense of the color, and then do yellow and black stripes, or do blackstone for the base and do yellow and gray stripes. Because I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's anything else that has this kind of stone texture. Is that the soul soil or the soul sand? Soil. Sand would have a bunch of uh, bases, pock That's marks right. and stuff.
Oh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I mean, what, what else is there that has the brick texture? Th this kind of brick texture. Uh, talking about the large stones? Yeah. Because I think that's it for now. No, there, there's uh, another brick. Uh, yeah, but another brick's not as uh, not as big. Is it the standard uh, brick size? I can't remember. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was the big blocks. Um, I think I brought all my nether brick over to. Uh, oh no! Because I know the clay brick is, is yeah. the small. Yeah, the clay brick and the nether brick. But even then, the clay brick and the nether brick don't match. Like, you can't... Yeah. No, they don't. No. Not even a little bit. The, the red brick honestly doesn't match anything. Uh, not, not right now. I kind of... <laughs> I almost wish that they would, um... Go back in and change out the brick texture for the red brick. So that way it matches some of the other brick textures out there. Yeah, I just put a little more, uh, a little more mortise in the middle of, of the stone of the brick, but set it up so that way the textures will still kind of match up a little bit. Ah, you did miss one. Okay. Which one? One comes. Uh oh. No, no. Uh oh, it's one of my favorites. I'm just surprised you missed it. <laughs> surprised I didn't notice it while I was over here. Here. You go. Oh, the quartz brick? Nice. Nah, I already ruled out the quartz. Do you know how much I've done with quartz already? What's the matter? If it looks good. Honestly, the black stone and that would look pretty good together. Yeah, black stone quartz and then uh and then what? Do the stone the stone for the base? No, no, do black stone, um, the large polished blackstone bricks with uh, standard blackstone mixed intermatched and uh, make that your base like it was like <laughs> placed on top of a giant rock outcropping and then quartz and blackstone up like a spiral or whichever mm. style of uh, yeah. lighthouse you're doing. Uh, probably the rings instead of the spiral. Okay. But yeah, no... I because on the that, on the scale like on idea. the scale that I'm building, uh, the spiral's just not going to look right. Uh, well, I pulled off a spiral on something I'm actually smaller than this. I think. All about circles. All about those circles. But no, it's up to you. Yeah, your pyramid. The the squared your, circles. Your work. The squircles. Squircles. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, but again, your project. I'm just, I'm just yeah. Uh, I, I'm just a little. I, I like the quartz, but I'm a little quartzed out. Right, do something else. It's cool. Like I said, just given uh, given options. I don't know why I have this. I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably because you know you're standing behind me when you picked it up. <laughs> I don't want the ugly yellow brick. No, but I, I the the unclean cafeteria floor. Oh, that, that's part of why I was looking at the end brick as a as a material because this is supposed to be a lighthouse that's been sitting out on this island, exposed to the the ocean air. So it, it's got that weathered look that I was looking for. Uh, the stones easy to mix in, cracked and mossy to give that a little bit more of a wear worn look. Uh, there's cracked blackstone bricks mm -hmm. that can be used to, to give it a little bit more of a, a worn look. Uh, and a lot of blackstone variety to mix in, too. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that it was going to be sitting on the stand, I'd almost be tempted to do an endstone base and then blackstone and stone bricks. Uh, but that yellow directly on the sand is ugly. Oh, that's why you don't do the brick directly on the sand. Or um, build up a rocky, a, rock, a little bit of, like, 
you get the sand going up to a rock and then start building up a little bit of a rocky prominence. Yeah, but don't do the rock out of rock. Do the rock out of instone. Oh. And then take the instone into into brick for the foundation. That's good like possibility. They a, like they had the they built this thing out of whatever that is in stone or whatever. Yeah. Um. Whatever they it would call it out. in this world. <laughs> no, no, didn't run out. But they built it, and all the remainder that made the foundation just crumpled at the bottom because they didn't, you know, take it away. Hmm. Maybe. I'll think about that. Because I, I did I did want to build a little bit of a rock in here somehow. Uh, this one's one actually going to go up a little bit. Or you could build it out of prismarine. Doesn't prismarine brick have a giant block form too? Uh, nah, not this kind of brick. The prismarine brick has that funky little fork design. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it it wouldn't it wouldn't fit in here, color or thematic. Eh, well, you know. But I know you have one around here. Yeah, it's <laughs> down here. But it, you got to wait till eighteen thirty three. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Low roof. It's one of those cheap apartments. It's small, but the rent is cheap. <laughs> uh, ocean front. I mean, you're not getting anything big without it being small. Yeah. <laughs> Costing an arm and a leg and all that. Exactly. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. All right. So I got a couple of pallets up. I I know about the size that I want to build for the. Uh, the lighthouse. I need to play with the lighthouse generator. I'll leave a link to that somewhere. Uh, I can definitely put the two end bricks away, though. That oh, I thought you it. had a turtle trying to escape over here. It's just a head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't 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 say that too loud. Somebody might uh, object. Oh no, it's a drowned head, not a turtle head. I just. <laughs> I saw green up in the window there from a oh. distance. I was like, oh, man, your turtle's trying to get out, man. That's not even the right green. <laughs> I know. I like, 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 yeah, if it was more a coffee. sick turtle, like, you know. More, more coffee is needed. More coffee needed. <laughs> yeah, oh, more coffee is always needed. <laughs> more coffee is always needed. Hi, guys. All right. Oh, so that's, that's that's your options, I guess. That's good. That's more than I had before. Still wish I knew why I had a bunch of end stone in my blackstone box. I mean, I I, I could always throw some purper in there. Sure. No. <laughs> no. Well, I mean. <laughs> It's got blocks. I mean, that's what you're wanting, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but those blocks don't match. They're blocky blocks. Like, like I, it's a Rubik's Cube without the colors. Well, then, you know, at that point, you might as well go grab the prismarine and just make this a rainbow, you know? Oh, no. Although, <laughs> just, just to troll Ray I, I am slightly tempted to... Uh, it's gonna have an even number of circles. No, no. <laughs> to to make it out of purple and uh, prismarine, just make a ginormous purple and prismarine lighthouse, like at least seven stories up, so you can see that over the ridge. Where are you going? <laughs> I was trying to see how high you'd have to go for that. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you do run into the render. Di well, actually, no, because you you can you can see the yeah, buildings I can see. here from there. You can see Kmuzin. Yeah, that's a thought. Ooh, that's a thought. <laughs> it's a 
thought nobody's going to like, but that's a thought. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't even think you <laughs> like that idea. No, I don't, because I'd still have, I'd have to live with it. That's the problem. <laughs> like, and I converted this to a beach for some reason. Yeah, because you're going to make the Emerald Retirement Home in there. No, the, the, the shiny Emerald Retirement Home was going to be over on this side. And I was going to turn this into like a little boating cove. And I think I might move the turtles over here too. So that way they're not in the way of the lighthouse and all that. But I was going to come. Just... I was going to come through and redo the the bottom and sides with uh, sand. Figure out how much of this I wanted to turn into uh, actual like beach beach. You know, lay down some uh, beach blankets and that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna, I got to figure out how to set up a uh, badminton net. Get some armor stands. Make sure I dig up that clay so, you know, it doesn't go to waste. Oh, goodness. I think we're okay on clay. Nah. We, we could use a little more. Just in case. No. No. Just in case. See what I did to that mesa. We don't, we don't need it anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, but that's hardened clay. Or terracotta now. I keep calling it hardened clay. Like, th this is how you know how long somebody's been playing Minecraft by what they call stuff. Like, you know B-Dubs is playing this longer than we do because he keeps calling the sugarcane reeds? Because they were reeds before they were sugarcane. But even I called them sugarcane because that's what you got from them back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they used to be called reeds. So it, it, it makes me smile a little bit every time he does that. But then I do the same thing by calling the terracotta hardened clay because, well, when I got started, back in my day, when, when I still got started. Call it, it, I huh? still call it clay. <laughs> yeah, no. Because there's clay, the stuff that you can uh, br bake into bricks or harden into terracotta. And then you cook the terracotta again, and you can get glazed terracotta. Which, um, I like the idea. I just, I wish the designs were better. But trying trying to do designs that, that like that, that's... I do not envy Jappa for trying to figure out how to make that work. Mm -hmm. uh, Jappa is the guy who does most of the textures in Minecraft. Yeah. So he's the one we have to blame for the new uh, ore. <laughs> well, what do you mean blame? The The idea with the new ore is that uh, they're more visually distinct and they're better for colorblind. So if you have different types of visual difficulties, you'll still be able to tell the different ores apart from each other. Yeah. So if you have trouble with reds and blues, you, you, you don't go... Is that redstone or is that lapis? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Or at least that's the idea behind it. Coo coo. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, and that's why the that's part of why the copper is set up to look like weathered copper. The other part is because well, it looks like weathered copper. It's exposed copper. It should look a little greenish tinge and if you have trouble with certain colors you can tell it apart from uh, all the other ores um, and I know he struggles to find a texture for these guys that fits the community they've gone through a few different changes there's a few others that, that have gone un like uh, the birch has undergone some changes and I'm trying to think of what else. Dirt's been changed a couple of times, surprisingly enough. Alright. Hmm. I mean, I could just build a lighthouse out of solid gold, too. 
spend enough time at the farm and uh, get enough ingots and do uh, gold and iron blocks. Yeah, I think you need to go ahead and go uh, go get some sleep there, buddy. <laughs> oh no, Talking gold crazy. and emerald. Yeah, because we, 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 we got plenty of emerald from the yahoos over in the, the trading hall there. Well, not only that, it's the Emerald Retirement Home, isn't it? They, they probably would have sponsored the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we got the, uh, we got the, we got the church full of clerics. We can get enough lapis to do something with that. <laughs> get, uh, ooh, lapis, uh, lapis and, lapis and gold. Or do I want to do lapis and uh and redstone? Oh no, that that hurts my soul. Plus, it'd be really hard to build farms there too, because uh, <laughs> you want to make sure you don't run it up against the wall and accidentally turn farms on. All right. Let me uh, do something with this uh with this structure here. I still need to figure out the roof. I get a roof on this church. It looks so good, except for, you know, the roof. I am actually pretty happy with the way a lot of the rest of the stuff came out. Sorry, next season I'm building that joker into a cave. It's all gonna be in the caves and cliffs. It is the caves and cliffs update, right? Hey, Beast Lord. I, I, I appreciate the raid, but I, I was actually getting ready to, to, to do this the other way around. <laughs> How's it going? I was, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was, I was actually getting ready to wind this up and, uh, and hand it off your way. Because, uh, yeah, I. I've been uh I've been having trouble sleeping here lately and, and woke up mm, several times throughout the night and just decided a casual Minecraft day would be better. But uh I got a little spot marked out. I'm going to build a lighthouse over here trying to fill out, figure out which bricks I want to use. Yeah, I might I might do that as a foundation and then alternate the black stone in something else. But actually if I did it like that. Before I, before I call it a night. That might not be bad. Do do the stone brick for the base, and then the end stone, black stone, end stone, black stone, etc., etc., all the way up. It might do, yeah. I think that'll be it. I think that'll be it. I'm gonna need to take a trip to the end and start mining out a bunch. Pug pad. Not sure what you mean by pug pen, unless I, I slurred something because the tired is real. The six dogs behind you. Oh, 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 gotcha. Yeah, no, not pugs. They're supposed to be labs, black labs, like Jabba. <laughs> uh, I I found them while adventuring and brought them back. I I don't have names for them though. I need some good names. Some good. Ironic, not ironic, some humorous dog names. I just, uh, I... Not sure, not sure. Might have to go through and, like, get some famous comic dogs or something like that. Which one of these guys is going to be Deputy Dog? <laughs> S 
nerdly. How far back into the uh, Warner Brothers history can we go? All right, all right. I, I, dude, you know what? Let me do just a little bit more. All right. Me, where, where's my, where's my diagram of circles? There we go. That was what, 9, 18, it's going to be that 19 by 19 circle. Uh, that is less helpful than, uh, than I realized. Okay. Hmm. Why must you be so difficult? Three, one, two, three. Kind of wish there was a command for, you know, like summon circle. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going to go two. About to cover up my storage. Such as those. One, two. Two. I don't think I did this right. Into the circle. Nudge, nudge. Into the circle. You guys are easy, as easy to move around as Jeppa. Although with him, I just need to hold out a treat. Put the second one there. That's gonna go one, two. We go one, two. Like a so. Of course, all of it's over the water. So that'll be the diameter of the White House, uh, the White House, the Lighthouse. And then I can start building, building up from there. All right. I'm going to re-terrain some of this to be stone. Although, do I want to elevate that a little bit? I might want to elevate that a little bit. Still, that gives me, that gives me a bit of a... Bit of something to work with. Hmm. 
Of course, my island is now no longer safe. No. Ah, uh, good thing we have a surplus of stone. I'm about to go through a lot. No, not that much, because the foundation is only going to be two, maybe? Yeah, two high, three high. Alright, I can work with this. I'll put that there for now. Okay, yeah, no. I, I, I was going to try to keep going a little bit longer, but the, the tired is definitely settled in. So uh, this is where I'm going to hit it over to the credits. Say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Um, I'm tucking my character somewhere safe while I do the outro, because uh, that seems wise. And uh, let me let me see who's who's available. Uh, Beastler, it tells me you're live twice over. Are you still live? No, you can't be. Are, are you still alive? Because it's showing you are. No? Okay. Uh, in that case, let's go raid Blackjack. It looks like he's playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, uh, were you intending to still be live? Or... Because I, I can send this raid back to you. <laughs> the delay is killing me. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, let, let's... Uh, let. Everybody stick around. I'm going to send you over to Blackjack. Uh, well, if you haven't already, do follow Beast Lord. Do follow Blackjack. Give, 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 them, give them some love. They're good people. So uh, hang tight. Let's uh, head on over for the raid. Have fun. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>